Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to see how we can create a simple React based application where we are going to use uh, free embeddings with uh, Olama, right? So also we are going to use a free vector database which is on device vector database which is Chroma, right? So we are going to use that and also we are going to use some Langston capabilities inside our project and uh, to access uh, LLM uh, we are going to use this grow platform we are going to grab the api key of that and we will access the uh, models which they provide so if i'll go inside that uh, cloud uh, grow cloud platform then they th we need to create some api key okay sort of api key so i have my api key you can create that from here and then uh, actually i have stored that inside my env.py file okay so you can create and you can store that and then uh, if I'll show you then uh, here, they are also having some documentation that how you can access and use that, right? Uh, so as you can see that it is similar to OpenAI, but there are sort of uh, some of the differences which we need to find and we have to implement that, right? So also this is the page for Olama. You can find some of the models, right? And uh, here uh, if I'll go below inside this github repo then uh, they are saying that how you can use Olama right so first of all you have to download Olama inside your system so I have windows so I'll just click on this and uh, here if I'll go inside this page then as you can see it is getting downloaded so I already have this so I'll not download this right so after downloading uh, you will get something like this here so as you can see if you will right click on this then uh, you can start and quit Olama so it is already running in my system so then uh, what you need to do to confirm that Olama is in your system you can just uh, open your CMD right and uh, here you can just type Olama so as you can see that it is providing some of the commands so it is already in my system right so let's see how we can see the models which it has right in my system so i'll just say olama list so as you can see that now we i have this uh, nomic embed text model which i pulled earlier into my system so you can also uh, this is the embedding model so you can also use some of the large language model for uh, inference okay so you can pull that so to pull some of the models you can just say olama pool and some model name okay so here uh, there are several models they are providing so here is uh, like you if you don't have some you know good space then you can just go with some of the like uh, small size model as well so here is there is a JAMA 2B which is a 1.4 GB uh, only right so you can just pull that via Olama then pull and then JAMA 2B right so then you will have that model inside your system to use that right so it will be like local model inside your system I will go back into my uh, notebook and here we will start uh, doing coding okay so I will just uh, execute this uh, first uh, cell so what is it is doing we have imported several uh, import uh, imports for a library right so as you can see we have imported chat from template from land chain underscore core right uh, we have uh, imported runnable pass through it is just for like uh, creating a, uh, a chain okay so uh, we have imported output parser we have imported chroma for a uh, vector database we have created sorry imported uh, recursive character text splitter for actually splitting our text into some chunks right we have imported pi pdf directory loader which is for uh, importing text from the pdf we have imported embeddings from langton community we have imported, imported uh, chat or llama we have imported all llama embeddings so these are several imports which you need to import right uh, i will share my uh, this code uh, link into my description so you can check that out okay so i'll just provide full notebook inside that so then uh, what we are doing uh, actually i have uh, one data folder inside my current directory and there i have this uh, text okay so if i'll open that then as you can see that it is having some of the information related to chandrayaan 3 mission uh, of india right so here 
by isro it 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 has uh, uh, it has uh, gi given uh, information of that right so i am going to use that pdf here okay uh, so here like what i am doing i am just uh, reading that whole directory right and then i'm i'm loading the whole uh, text from those pdfs and then i'm just uh, doing uh, like splitting those uh, documents into some chunks and then i have this uh, whole documents inside this docs folder okay so here then i am providing that whole documents inside this uh, function where i am creating embeddings of that particular whole documents chunks okay so this is the variable for vector store right so here uh, then i am using that vector store to actually retrieve our uh, like embeddings okay so here this is the thing then what we are doing uh, we will uh, later use this retriever to actually retrieve some of the information from that vector data store okay so now this is the main thing where like we are actually accessing our uh, grok uh, api key uh, inference okay so here we are actually importing this chat grok we have added our api key inside this env.py file as i mentioned right then uh, this is the function where we have to pass grok api key is equal to this api key which we have added right then we can use several uh, models from there like they are providing uh, some open open source model which we can use also there are like some other models as well which we can use okay so i am using this mixtral 87b okay so here i have this uh, llm now uh, variable ready to use okay so here now with this i can access uh, that model and i can inference i can add inference uh, via this and i can get the answer from that okay so also like later if you don't want to use this api key and if you want to use some uh, one device model right inside your system then you can use this uh, olama model as well you can just pull those model from olama and you can use that okay but i am just using that uh, that grok provided LLM, llm only so here if i'll go below then what i'm doing i'm creating one chat uh, prompt template so this is my uh, prompt template where i'm saying that uh, answer the question based on the following context and i'll just give some context which i'll retrieve from the vector database re regarding this question okay and we'll get some answer okay so this is my reg chain where i have passed uh, retriever object i passed a runnable pass through i have passed a prompt i have passed llm and i have passed a output parser right so then what we'll do we'll actually test our uh, retriever so here i i, I added regchain.invoke and by this we can actually invoke our uh, our chain with llm and other prompt which we added right so here i'll just uh, press uh, let me run this as well okay so i'll just run this then i'll run this so as you can see now i'll just run this okay so let's wait for the answer and uh, here we are just filling our uh, whole answer into this whole width so uh, we are giving 80 width so it will uh, it will take 80 percent of that width right and then as you can see that we got our answer right so this is amazing that like we created a chain and then we have uh, used that grok api key to actually uh, uh, work it as a llm to provide answer uh, based on our uh, vector database store data so this is the thing right so now uh, below i am just creating a simple interface with gradio and uh, i am also like uh, accessing uh, means i am ju just uh, uh, writing uh, response time as well via this command okay and uh, here as you can see we are in invoking right here right so then i'm creating a gradient interface and if i'll click uh, shift enter then it will uh, get started it will take some time to generate some link which you can actually send to another uh, person uh, to test it will like uh, it will get expired in 72 hours but it's fine right for testing it's fine so you can send this link to any person so this is the interface right i'm not going inside uh, like detail inside this because this is the simple thing how you can 
create a gradient face right so we are given title we are given description and other things related to textbook and uh, where we are going to pass our question right so here as you can see now i'll just go inside this link and uh, as you can see that uh, it is like uh, loading right so here let me go here so here as you can see that there is one uh, flag the uh, like folder also got created by by our code so this is the interface right so this is for our personal knowledge chat app so if i'll ask some question that uh, when uh, chandra chandrayaan uh, landed right on moon surface right so now i just submit it and let's wait for the reply so also you can clear this uh, input via this clear command and as you can see that it has given us the answer quickly right in 3.3 30 second right so uh, that's why like we have added this uh, like uh, print statement for printing uh, response time right so as you can see that uh, this is our answer which we actually got from our pdf file uh, from our vector database uh, stored knowledge right so this is amazing right so if you want to like uh, add this uh, question and answer into some uh, like uh, uh, excel file then you can just click on this flag right so it, it it got saved so let's go back and here inside this flagged uh, folder we have our uh, log dot like log excel file so here if i'll open this then as you can see that here we have our question and uh, accordingly we have our answer as well so as you can see we have our answer latest question and answer so this is amazing right like you can actually query your uh, documents uh, with this simple application and also you, you if you want to store this question and answer in, inside some of the document you, you can also store that right so this is the thing which i wanted to show you inside this video um, uh, this is not uh, that much uh, local right because we are using uh, like grok api but as i mentioned right that you can uh, use some of the you know olama models inside your system by pulling that and it is it is like a whole uh, local uh, rag application which you created right so this is how uh, you create this kind of thing i hope you like this if you did then please do subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye bye